Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 8 of Glacial Awakening. Today, we're going to get started on chapter 3, so let's just jump into it. So, when we left off, we just finished chapter 2. I went ahead and made the tavern between episodes. I just tossed it away. I probably won't use it. I don't, I don't know. Or here, we'll just go we'll throw it outside real quick somewhere. It can go right there. Nameless Tavern. Oh. Teleport. Are these... Uh, they look like single-use items. So I'll just throw it in my bag. I upgraded my bag. It's just... Well, it starts cheap. Goes to iron. Then gold. Then diamonds. And then lastly, emeralds. I didn't make emeralds yet. We have access to them. Using, well, either core. You need a block of diamonds, and I didn't want to make more diamonds right now, so I didn't. Anyways, let's get started because I'm going to have to make a cut pretty early because of these things. So this is from Arcane Archives. It is kind of like a, well, it's kind of like a storage mod, basically which gives you access to linking inventories together, but it also gives you like wireless transfer, I believe, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna need a bunch of these. I've never actually used this mod before. So we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. I'm just gonna make, it wants three, but whatever. I just brought a tank of water up here, so. I'll just burn through some. We'll go with six, sure. So these, it says to put them outside. For some reason, I don't know if they need to be outside. Because it just said that over time, if the block above it is open, so it doesn't say it needs line of sight to the sky, but... That's fine. Oh, never mind. You can only have three. Maybe, maybe it will go far away. It won't know. I thought it totally knows. Okay, well that's why it wants you to make three, is because you can only have three. Oh. Oh well. A little bit of a waste of gold. Put that away. Let's see here. Magnetic craft. So I did notice right here, uh, it looks like we're going to get into machines a little early. I didn't see this before. So let's go ahead and see. Can I make that even? Uh, that piece? Do I not have any left? I think there's a coring recipe for it. To make the blocks of lapis instead of the lapis or wasn't there? Am I going crazy? There we go, verdant core. Prismarine. Uh you know what? Let's just do it. Maybe. Green. Make 16. Ish. Oh, I don't have seeds. I should just leave some seeds over here. I made an enchanting table and then I realized uh, I don't want to make all those bookshelves because you need the animal hide to make a book. Like here, and paper, and it's like, ah, uh, no thank you, not right now. Maybe later. Because that's a lot of... I'd probably have to do the ritual several more times to get enough bookshelves. Alright, what was I doing? This. I have light. There we go. 
Make me... You know what, there. That's plenty. I don't have enough lapis. I'm out of shards, too. Gosh. Alright. This is why I wanted that picker. But you need... Diamonds for it. You know what? I'm just gonna... Help this. Have at it. And... There. Alright. That's gonna be plenty of crystals to last me a while. I wonder how many it can crush at once. <laughs> Let's just throw down a bunch. Oh, that seemed to work. Right? One, two, three, four-ish stacks. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Now I need these ones. Some of these. All right, so I'm just going to make some lapis, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, and we're back. So I got some lapis. We'll make a magnet. We'll make a book. And then we'll make the manual. And that'll get us more of those. All right. I'm just going to toss them with the rest. So let's see here. Do we have this stuff? Copper. I have a little bit. So copper you can find mining. Lead. You find lead. Sulfur. Tungsten. Was that? Lithium. Uranium. Boron. Thorium. You can find a bunch of different things. Some copper. Gallium is lead. So... I have, I processed a little bit, so we need, well, let's see here, what is this, wool? I have plenty of leather, make some of them, let's see here, so for this, bug, grafting, we need lead. We need to process some lead. So when you make this, you make it with the altar. That's the only way we can process lead right now. Until we get machines. So you use it, make the rocky chunk, and that means we're going to need to make uh, the sluice. The sluice, whatever. So let's make one of them up. Should be... Pretty simple. Maybe we'll make two up. No, we don't need two. Let's take this. Ah, actually, you know what? We're going to set this up down here. Next to my water source. Yeah, sure. That's, f that's fine. Whatever. Whichever way you want to face. So for this, I believe you just toss the stuff in, right click, it's holding what, 10? Is that what I put in there? And you get a bucket, and you put it there. And then I'll pop it all out. And then we'll do it again. Not too complicated. And then I think we can just smelt these things. Oh, we get silver too. Yeah, it looks like we can just smelt them. Oh, that's cool. Manufactory makes three. Oh, we get two out of there. Okay. That's right, because that's considered ore doubling, that thing. Oh, pick up these crystals. I got a few. But we're going to need more than... And just a few. That's why we're starting on the other thing. Oh, this is still... You know what? There you go. Take a break. Okay. 
We need... Uh, we need the other way. Do the lead first. Because we need... Six. Three. No, seven. Seven pieces. And we need more paper. Yay. I really wish you could hopper this stuff into this thing. But you can't. Here we go. We'll litter the wall with paper. Just because I can. Alright, let's get our lead. Good enough. Make some stuff. Kind of want to get into astral sorcery, though. Although, making a machine, which hopefully can do some... We'll see. Because uh, I think we make a grinder. Like that. This. Oh, yeah. Now we need a piece of paper. And one of our precious diamonds. Does it have to be in the middle? Yes. Get some extra cable. A battery. I think you're ahead of yourself there. Uh, we might need to make that press also. So let's give that a shot too. Because I don't think we're ready for immersive engineering, because that's steel, if I'm not mistaken, for those things. Darn it, it's right there! Hmm. Yeah, it wants us to make a grinder. Okay. Let's do that. Ores. Ores are kind of more important, I guess. I suppose. Rather than being OP. Okay, so we have this, this. That's done. Good there. We can't do that yet. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, okay. What are these blocks? I think it's going to be these things. Oh. These. Those. And that. And those. Or no, maybe that. Because a boiler doesn't sound right. Does it tell us? Doesn't tell us. Okay. So I am going to count this up and make all the pieces and I'll be back. Actually, while we're at it though. Oh, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that looks the same. Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's probably in the book. Machines. Maybe not machines. Where's the back button? Multi-block. Grinder. Here you go. There's a list of the blocks. Means there should be one for the press. Yep. All right. So I'm going to collect the materials for this, and I'll be back. All right. We're back for a second. So can make this obsidian displacer. It is just heavy ingots and a crystal that will let you. 
pop off uh, the what's it called the pack dice because we're gonna use we're probably gonna use pack dice and maybe magma blocks or the what do you call it that thermal generator thingy because it should work well we'll find out so originally, uh, originally I was going to use ice, but I don't want to have to worry about torches melting it. So let's go grab a magma, or what is it? No, we'll just make a couple more, or just one more. I have it somewhere at the magma cube thing. No, not that. The magma block there. So let's go with making two, I suppose. There we go. Now, as long as you have them on opposite sides, it should theoretically generate power. Let's see, is there any, there's no input. Maybe I should put it on the other side. Oh well. All right, so got the chest of the pieces. So here's the grinder. That's what you're gonna need. One coil. What's that? Ten machine. Seven iron grates. Eight striped. And eight corrugate. It's all in the book. All right, so let's set this up. Actually, I don't know how these accept power. Uh, well, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and build this up real quick. Something like that. Where are the other ones? Oh man, I hate these things. They're so hard to see. These. Nope. Wait, did it lie to me? Or did I look at the wrong thing? Because that doesn't look right. Multi-block, grinder, seven. Now I'm confused. One of these must be wrong. There, okay. Expected one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Am I, am I going crazy? It's there's eight, but it's at seven. Oh, let's just get another one. There. All right. You happy? Cause I'm not. Let's try this again. Here, there. Alright. What is this? This looks like these things. Then corners down here. There. You good? You are good, so you lied to me. It totally says seven. Where's the power go in? Maybe here? Oh, that looks like power to me. Yeah, it sure does, because this looks like output or input. Since it's blue, I'm supposing input. There's something on top. 
That looks like input also. Oh, look at that. I didn't know this had an interface. Well, it seems to be working, so... We'll just run this cable over. So do you work? Yeah, look at that. Let's set up this other one real quick. I say real quick, but, you know, I'm not the quickest at this. We'll put it... No. I thought it'd be bigger. Alright, so... No, it's probably gonna get in the way there. Put it on the other side of the torch. And up one. So it's in line. Alright, let's see if this one lied to me too. There. What do we need? One, two, three. Okay. Let's see here. Copper coil. This doohickey. Let's see. Is this one? The support beams. Okay. It doesn't look like a doesn't look like a lie. And go. What? Orientation expected Z O. Oh. Really? Okay, so it, it matters which direction it's facing. There. There we go. Orientation matters. Where's the power on this one? Right there. Let's just... Safely run the wire across the ground, because what's the worst that can happen there? Oh, there's power on that side too. Thanks. See, now I should have just put it right next to it. I'm going to move it later. Let's test this thing out. See if it works. I don't have much left. Let's see. Pose, we gotta get it in the top. Alright, let's dump this chest here, see if it auto exports. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it doesn't doesn't export, but there we go. Now we have basic or doubling instead of what is that like? 10% not or something. All right. Let's get moving on. What's this? I already have a sluice box, so let's just go pick that up real quick for the quest. Pickaxe. It's made out of wood and it wants a pickaxe. Right there. That means theoretically we should be able to make a battery. And we're moving on slowly. I'll probably rearrange that stuff later though, so. Because I'm not too happy with it. Alright, let's make a gem cutter. Oh, more paper. I'll just pull them both up. Tired of going down there for paper. I'll have to get the paper from outside. Alright. That's good. Done. Rafting table. And gem cutter table. 
And yeah, I don't know. We'll just plop it there for now. Oh, that's bigger than the thought. There. How's that? All right, so these can stay in here. We need one of these, I think. Let's get get our astral sorcery tome. We need fey leather obtained by reaching through the planes when using runic shears on an entity that normally drops leather. Willingly given, but not infinite. All right. Come here, Mr. Runaway Cow. I threw him over here with the other animals. Look how happy that deer is to see us. Do you give something too? Oh, you give it too. Look at that. What about you? You? No. Oh, that's right. I can get rid of this dirt. Uh, when I was originally moving the villagers around, uh, they they wanted to go in here and hide. No, you don't drop anything either. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish that or not now. Now that iron's not as much of an annoyance. I may make the villager breeder, though, for enchanting books. I don't know. Okay, let's dump some of this. So we should be able to make our tome. Ah, uh, more paper. Give me this. Give it all. Is there an easier way to do this? Oh, there is now. You can put it through the altar. Manufactory later will get us double? Hmm. Maybe. Because I'm going to need a lot of books eventually make the bookshelves since we don't have villages around to just steal them. Look at that. It's our tome. Where's our paper? I have some paper. I have it somewhere. I'm blind. There. Uh, shift right click and you can throw in your constellation papers. Oh yeah, we can make our luminous crafting table. Oh, look at that. I found a floating crystal. Uh, over there, 500 blocks. Where is it? No, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Way down there. So, let me... Grab this stuff I need and I'll head over there and make this stuff So we can get into astral sorcery All right, I'm over by the floating crystal So to get started. Oh, that's right. I brought my tavern I'm just gonna toss that in a corner and maybe we can use it to get back here That's not a very useful interface it said oh Oh, you can name it. Uh, set this tavern to home. Sure. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, first thing we're going to need is our... Well, we need a resonating wand. And we need a table. Where is it at? Uh, this guy. Uh, city marble is just marble surrounding a piece of coal. Coal you can get by... Oh, you can transform charcoal over. I use it with the block of coal, though, which is a coring recipe. And apparently a soaking pot recipe. Weird. All right. So I am going to place this guy, actually I think where that crafting table is. 
how I set it up in FTB Academy and it actually turned out really well setting up here. Let's see if that uh, Obsidian Displacer can get Sea Lanterns. No, no it can't. Okay, bye. Oh, it's nighttime too. Oh, no. No thank you. Excuse me. I I totally need to fence this area off. Go away. Can I reach Oh jeez, come on. There we go. Good enough. Maybe they won't see me down here. Okay, the first thing I want uh, illumination powder. Yeah, give me that. Give me, give me. Oh, you need these aquamarines? Okay, you can convert them. I had some back at base. I forgot to grab them. I want a cave illuminator. I want that so bad. I am tired of mobs spawning underground. If you're not familiar with these, you just place them. Uh, I think, I don't remember if it's these ones or the old ones. If you're not sure, just treat them both the same and uh, give it line of sight to air. It's a little laggy when you first put it down, but it will systematically go, uh, I believe it's four chunks. Roughly, so roughly a 64 block radius around it, and it will light up underground. I just really wanted that. Let's do a quick experiment. Go outside and see if there are rock crystals. Or if we have to make them some other way. Oh, there's rock crystals. Okay. Actually, there's a rock crystal right under us, too. What I recommend for these is find the glowy spots, uh, create a waypoint, I call them RC, I change them to white, and then drop it down to Y level about 5 is good, 5 or 6. Go away. So all these, where you see the little white sparkles coming up. They're going to be rock crystals underground. When you're creating a waypoint, if you're not on a server, it does pause the game so you don't have to worry about mobs sneaking up on you. But take your time when you do that. And then just go underground and create a system, a little mining shaft. I recommend making it, well, traditionally I recommend making it at Y level 11. But in this mod pack it might not matter. Oh well, here we go. Well, that's about it then for this episode. So if you made it this far, oops, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time, where hopefully there will be less zombies. There we go. So, bye bye.